All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over how to open up or start a new document just in case you have forgot. So we're going to go ahead and you, what you would probably see is your Google screen to start. And remember, at the very top is something you're going to want to look at. That is your ribbon. Okay, a ribbon always has options for you. And on Google, it's going to be a black ribbon. And you're going to look for the ribbon option that says Drive. So you go ahead and click on Drive. And remember that you created a folder called Laptop Camp. So that w I created that underneath the CUSD student one. There we go. So we created a folder called Laptop Camp. So that is going to be what you're going to want to click on. And then you're going to hit Create. Okay, you're going to hit Create Document. So this is your document. Who remembers the very first thing that you're going to want to do when you create a new document? To name it right and so in the instructions for assignment number two what did it ask you to name this document flyer okay right it's one of those flyers like if you lost your dog or lost your pet you'd put them on like the lamp posts and such that's what we're going to name it flyer last night I had a an email from a student and she was like I can't find the option to make a flyer. Well, it's document, and you're just going to make a flyer off of the document. There is no Google option to make a flyer. Okay, so make you're going to make a flyer there. Well, who remembers the second thing that we do when we start a document? The first thing we do is rename it. What's the second thing that we do? It starts with an S. Share it. Share right? it. So the very next thing you're going to do is click on share. Okay, that has to happen. Click on share. And who are you going to share it with? Yes, your instructor. So in this case, it's going to be me. And so you should all have my name under your contacts. So the moment you start typing in my name, it should pop up. Now, you know you've shared it correctly when you hit share and save and you see my picture pop up. Okay, me with my little funky looking hat on, right? If it doesn't show that, that means the email address is typed in incorrectly. So you want to go back and check on that one more time. Okay? Um, remember, if there's an error, who is that most likely to have made a mistake? You guys, right? The computer probably didn't make that mistake. So, I mean, sometimes it happens. Okay? But most likely, you're going to want to go back and change it. After the second time you do it and it's still not working, what should you do? Nope, you don't have to ask me. Just ask for another pair of eyes, somebody next to you. Can you look this over to make sure I'm not missing anything? Because remember, your brain defaults to I'm right all the time. Your brain thinks it's right. It never thinks it's wrong. And it's, it even tricks you into thinking it's right, no matter how many times you look for it. Okay, so you always want to get a second pair of eyes on it. If you still can't figure it out, then call me over, and I'll help you out in that case. Okay, so the flyer is, is asking you, uh, now I actually want to show you one more quick little thing that's pretty interesting. Um, insert, there's a few different things that you can insert, okay? Um, one of them, which is really interesting, is a drawing. You can actually make a drawing yourself and insert it. So let me show you real quick. If you click on drawing, it'll, it'll open up this little tab kind of like a, a, a palette, a paint palette. And you can add shapes. So let's say I want to add an arrow. Let's say I want the arrow to be pointing like to my dog's picture. I'm going to draw an arrow, just like that. I'm going to color that arrow, which is right here. I'm going to color that arrow red. And then I'm going to hit Save and Close. And it puts the arrow in, just like that. And it's just like a picture. It's just like a picture. If you want to move it somewhere, unclick fixed position, 
and move it wherever you want. And they'll you like point to your dog. So on the instructions, it says to add two images or two pictures other than the picture of your pet. And that's what I'm talking about. You can add arrows. Um, you can add, see, another drawing, like little the explosion looking thing. So you can add this. on there. You can even put text in it. Make it smaller. Highlight it, make it bigger. Where's my bigger thing? There we go. Make the text bigger. You can even rotate it a little bit to go with it. You can change the color. Let's say you want it to be red. Done. And then hit save and close. Okay, so it looks like we're in trouble. And I must have hit the wrong button. But you get the point. You can just fool around with that stuff. So in the instructions where it says to add two images other than your dog, I would like you to play around with the drawing portion and just see what you can do. Okay? And it doesn't have to be your actual dog. Okay? You can have like a pet alligator or a pet elephant or a pet giraffe or a pet ghost. I, don't, I lost my ghost. I can't see him. I was never able to see him, but I still can't see him. Make it up. I don't. My pet Bigfoot. Okay, he really stinks, and he's got a big foot. So you you can make it up all you want. It also asks to put a phone number down, not your phone number, a phone number. So you can be like the movies where every phone number starts with five five five, right? Five five five, and then a number. You you guys know why they do that? Because they used to actually put real phone numbers in movies, and then people, if it was a popular movie, they'd call that number, and it'd be somebody's actual phone number, and they didn't like that. So, all right, so go ahead and mess around with that for a while, and um, I definitely want you to mess around with the drawing portion, and ha just have a good time with it, have fun, you know, let your imaginations run wild, and then make this uh, flyer, and we'll see what... Let's see what pops up.
Hmm. There we go. There. Um, you can actually make it into an image as well. If you go into drawing, you can make like big letters, funky looking letters, and then you can put images right below it. Or yes. I don't know if they're open yet. I have to wait for Mrs. Martin to come by, okay? All right, so remember, the, one of the main things in this assignment, because you've, you've already learned how to add a picture, you've already learned how to type, one of the main things I wanted you to learn out of this assignment is how to add images other than pictures off the Internet, meaning images that you have created yourself using the drawing program. And so remember, to do the drawing program, all you do is hit Insert, Drawing, and then you just make you know a funky drawing, when, you know, whatever you want. You can... Some of you have already figured this out, but you can even, I think there's like a pen function, and you can just draw whatever you want. Like you can even draw your animal, I think, scribble. I don't know what that is, but it's a lost something. But you can just draw, have a good time with it. 
Okay, and you can even fill it in, right? Fill things in, scribble, arrows, shapes. Eh. Have a good time with it. And then here's something called word art. So you can like type something in here. And it makes the art bigger. Mm. You change the font of it. This little uh, dot up here rotates it. You can rotate it any way that you want. You can even rotate all the different parts of him. Okay. He said it as my default browser, but it's still not working. Always check here. See that thing? That's doing it. Uh, Always unclick it. And it should work now. There you go. You. Mm -hmm. Hey, pass that little piece of information along. And let's see who has shared with me. Okay, Brendan, you have to go back in and change your title. It should say Flyer, not Lost Dog. Flyer. I'm going to check on Grace's Flyer. Is there Grace in here? Grace? She must be in one of the other classes watching us right now. We have, if you look up here, we have one, two, three, Four other classes watching us right now. Special. Just the screen. Just the screen. You can actually see what's being broadcast right here. That's what's being broadcast to this to the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, let's see, um, ch 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 Megan, is Megan in here? Megan? Okay, I'll click on Megan's. Is it yours? All right, so keep working on it. Bull Terrier? My dog, I have a Bull Terrier. His name's Doug. Yeah. There you go. Good. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Roman? Oh, what's your name? I mean, what, what's your question? The Clovis, yes. You have to make sure when you're sharing it, it has to be the Clovis USD dot K12 dot CA dot US. Otherwise, it's not going to be shared. And a lot of teachers don't know that either. Okay, a lot of teachers might ask you to share it with their name at uh, CUSD.com and it won't share with them. So you're going to have to spread the word around your campus to your teachers that if you want the share to work, it has to be the long version. Does anybody see their name up there? Tanner Travis, okay. Do a lost cat? I don't know. Good. Now, now, now. Remember, that's that's good. It's two other images besides your cat. But I wanted you to throw some drawings in there. Yeah. So make some drawings up and throw some of those in there. Josh Poor. Lost the moose. It's a, it's a funky looking moose. What if what if you lost two of them? What do you what would you say? Mooses? Mooses this is? No. I think it's still moose. I lost my mooses. The moose is loose. Okay, good. Um, see who else? You go. Good start. I think it's yeah. That yeah, there it is. There you go. Good start. Good. And as as with any type of work, when you're done, okay, you've shared it with me. Now, do you have to send me an email saying that you shared it with me? No. It automatically sends me an email saying, "Hey, Michael shared to work with you." I'm like, "All right, cool." Okay. You don't have to send me an email. You don't have to do anything but click the share button. And then the rest is up to me. I can take a look at it. I can help you out. I can leave comments on it. Okay. So let's, let's say that I'm looking at, let's see, who else is in here? Um, Kurt? No, wait, I didn't call it Kurt. That's another one. Um, Allison, where's yours? Emily, right here. Okay. So let's say Emily is done, and she shared it with her teacher. Okay. I be I I can highlight. I can click comment, and then as her teacher, I can leave a comment. I can say like. In water? Question mark. And then leave a comment. And then when she sees on her paper, uh, on her on her thing, she can scroll up and see that a comment has been made. And then she can click on it. And she clicks on the comment. If if, if it was a fixable comment, like I need you to not use all caps, or I need you to supersize that S for more emphasis, then she would fix it. And then she'd click on comment resolved and it send me as a teacher Emily fixed the comment that you made on her paper okay cool all, all done okay and then if you actually had to print this the comments would not print with them okay so it would still be your paper so as as a student once again because you think what you make is so great and a lot of it is right but once again it's a default of your brain to think anything you do is awesome 
which can be good and can be bad, it's always good to have another set of eyes taking a look at it. So if you have finished, I would like you to choose someone in this class, or in fact, they could be in another class and you got their contacts yesterday. Remember the contacts game that we played. I would like you to add them as a comment only user. It's the same way you added me as, as an editor, but instead of, instead of, like, let's say if you click on share, invite people, instead of can edit, you would want them to hit can comment. Can comment. And look, notice, it lists everybody involved in the paper. So here I am, I'm an editor, can edit. Here's Emily, she is the owner. Okay, she can delete me at any time. She can be like, don't want him anymore. Click, gone. Okay, and then if, you can add the commenter, and as the commenter is done, you, at the end, click, uncomment. Okay, so when you're finished, I would like you to add comment on somebody else's work. Hmm, let's try this. Let's just exit out of it and go back into it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, just keep in mind that that's where it's going to be going. So just keep typing and then we got it down. All right. Now, I'm going to talk to the other classes for a second, so don't think I'm ignoring you guys. Okay, all the other classes who are listening to me over the Internet, if there is a problem with my voice or a problem with the video, please, have, uh, please send somebody to my room, 305, and let me know um, so that I can uh, fix the situation because it's flowing pretty good over here. So if, if there's any problems, please send somebody over, and I will try to fix it. Okay, so if all those spells will come here, create drawing, and this way you can save it, and then you can insert like a picture. No video. You would go, oh, good question. So what if, what if somebody shared a document with you? What are two ways that you know somebody shared it with you? So your email, 
right? Your email will actually send you an, uh, a message saying so-and-so shared this with you and give you a link to the document. Or there's, an, there's another way. If you know they've shared it and you don't want to check your email, where can you go? Well, you can go to your drive and click on Shared With Me. Okay, so if you click on your drive and you go to Shared With Me, you'll see every document that another person has made and shared with you. So those are two different places you can check to see if somebody has shared with you. Joe? Yes? Is there a way to upload a picture that you have on your file on your computer into a Google Doc? Yes, I'll show that right now. Okay. Okay, we have a question from the other class about is, is there a way to add, like say you have a picture of your pet al already, right, and you want to upload that picture and not something off the <laughs> internet. So what you would do is on your document, I don't want to mess with their document. On your document, you would go to, let me delete this, Funky Man. There we go. And let me delete this. Okay, so you would, you would click on Insert, Image, and Upload. Okay, so you're going to upload it from your computer. You'd click on Choose Image. And you'd find any image on your computer. So, let's see. What image do I want to upload? Okay, how about this one? Lost starfish. There he is. Okay. Lost starfish. Uh, Peggy, could you uh, mute your microphone um, while you walk around the class? Uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback from your mic. So, Patrick, Starfish, there you go. Question, question, question. Let's move this down here for right now and see if that's causing it. Oops, undo. Oops, undo. And then w once you're done, move it up. Okay. So title it. All right. Um, if you if you're a teacher in one of the other classes, um, if you could mute your microphone. Uh, until you want to, need to ask me a question, that'd be fantastic because I'm getting a lot of feedback. Sorry, Joe, it's mine. I left it on. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So after you've made your image, you go to your flyer, insert. Oh.
Can I hear you? Mm -mm. Is your microphone red? It won't go off? Hmm. Let me check and see my settings. Maybe I have other... A border. Um, I can check. I don't think so. you can. Oops. You have stumped me. I'm going to have to go search and figure out a way to do that. There's got to be a way you can insert an image. That's one that you drew. One last try. Maybe send her down. There we go. Thank you. There you go, and then you can make them smaller. Not this is it because I moved it Okay, so raise your hand if you are still working on this flyer. Okay, go right ahead. Take your time. Uh, remember, raise your hand if you have any questions. I did get stumped, but we fixed it. So we figured it out. Right over there. Have you shared it with me? Okay, remember, that's the very second thing you have to do with all your documents is after you name it, you have to share it. Okay? I shared it with her. Okay, but you need to share it with your instructor. Okay. There you go. And you're all set. Okay, so can I go anywhere else? Just go ahead and... Yes. Now, where is the save button for this? So, so when you close out, you, you, you want to make sure it doesn't get deleted. Where's the save button? It automatically saves. There is no save button. After every keystroke, it's automatically saved for you. Now, someone asked me, you know, what if you make a drawing on this, but you like it so much you want to use it on another paper as well? Well, it's, it doesn't save the drawing except on your sheet. So if you want to actually make a drawing that you can save and use w whenever and wherever you want, um, that would be under New Document. So if you click on Create, 
down here is drawing. And it's the same exact drawing thing that you saw, except you, it, it's, it's an actual file. And you would do the exact same thing. With drawings, you wouldn't have to, unless it's an art class, you wouldn't have to share with your instructor. Okay? You just title the drawing. Okay? And you can title it, let's say, bang. Insert. So after you make your drawing, you would just, it's already saved for you, and you can download it to your computer. So file, download as, PNG. What PNG is, it's, um, it's a portable network graphic, and what that means is it, it only saves what you drew. So it will only save around the color. It won't, if you, if you choose a JPEG, it'll save the white behind it as part of the picture. If you choose this, it'll only choose the colored portions as part of your picture. So you can overlay it on top of words and not have a big white out behind it. So I always recommend choosing PNG. And now it's saved. It either saves to your photos or to your download folder. So those are the two places that it could go to. And then you can actually use that now as an upload whenever you go to any uh, any object. That was, the, that was the stumped question I had a little while ago. Mm -hmm. So you would click on lost and see who did it. And then once you're done, you click resolve and it goes away. Then click on this one and then click resolve and it goes away. And then on their computer, they'll get a thing saying, your comment has been resolved. Okay? Here than that. You'd have to do that before you insert it. It'd have to be under the drawing.
Okay, so you're going to work on these about five more minutes. We are going to be taking a break at 9.45, which is in five minutes. Okay, um, so just keep working on this. When we come back, we're going to start on assignment number three. Okay, assignment number three. But remember, I would like you to share this with another person in class with the can comment option. Okay, the can comment option. Um, tomorrow we are going to be working with the Microsoft Office. Um, if you don't have Microsoft Office, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm doing this for those who have it because I want to show you the differences. And you're going to see that for what you need it for, not a lot of differences. Okay, For what you need it for, there's not a lot of differences. But I, I do want to show you how to upload it to your drive. Okay, so like if if you want to work on your, your document wherever you are, it, it saves it. It's kind of like a, it's your own personal flash drive. You can put photos in your drive. You can put uh, songs in your drive. You, it's just like your own personal flash drive that goes with you wherever you go. So I just want to show you how to upload those things. Um, at the end of today, I also... Does everybody here has their own computer, right? It doesn't have a, a, a school owner. I want to actually have you download the uh, Google Drive program. And what that is, at the very bottom, it puts an icon for Google Drive on your computer. And you can access the files just like files on your computer. Okay? All, I mean, if, if I click on my Google Drive right here, it's on my computer just like you would have them at on, on, on your normal computer. So it physically saves them um, in cloud form. And you can just drag and drop just like you normally do. So you would highlight all your pictures from your photo album, drop it in your drive, and now it's saved on the web for you to grab them whenever you want. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that towards the end. Okay, it is 944, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to go to break. So go ahead and close your lids on your computers um, and you're gonna have a 15 minute break until 10 o'clock 
And when you come back in, we're going to be starting on assignment number three. Assignment number three. Joe, can you hear me now?
Okay. Can you hear me now? Until you're, until you're, you actually want to speak to me? Okay, yeah. Check, check, see the bottom? Yep. Yep. That means it's going through. Man, need to get it worked out. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you now.
All right, so welcome back from your break. We have one hour left. We are going to jump on to assignment number three now. Okay, assignment number three, it, it has a, it's a two-parter, so it, hopefully we can get through it pretty quickly. But we are going to be using a new Google application. We've been using what? What have, what have we been using? Google Docs. Yeah, Google Docs. And it's just like Microsoft Word, a little watered-down version, but it's still like Microsoft Word. Now we're going to use Google Presentation. It used to be called Google Slides. Now it's called Google Presentation. We're going to go ahead and open it the exact same way we would be opening a Google Doc. So we're going to be under our drive. So let's, there we go. We're going to be under our drive. We're going to make sure, is that the right one, Clovis? Yeah. Oh, we're doing this one. We're going to make sure we are in our laptop camp folder. And I'm going to hit Create. And right beneath Documents is Presentation. Okay, this is just like PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm going to click on Presentation and open it up. Uh, as the same that we did with Documents, what do we get? What's the very first thing that we are going to do? What's the very first thing we're going to do with this new program? Title it. Do we know what to title it yet? No, because have we clicked on assignment number three yet? No. So go back to our website. Now remember, you shouldn't be using like these back and forths to go to our website. You should have the website open on one of your tabs at all times, just so you can go back to it, refer back to it. So go ahead and make sure that you have that open. And our assignment, click on assignment. And it's going to be assignment 3A. 3A. So go ahead and click on assignment 3A. And it should tell you, create a Google presentation about yourself. Okay. Start with a blank presentation. That's what we're going to do. So this is the blank presentation we're going to, we're going to select. We're going to click on it and click OK. So now we have a blank presentation. Title your presentation, All About Me. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to title it, All About Me. Oh, kind of off on my caps on that, but it's okay. It's still called All About Me, and now we have the title. Do we have to click Save? No, because it automatically what? It automatically saves for us. Okay. What's the very second thing we do with all of our projects that we make? The very second thing we do. First thing we do is title it. Second thing, share with your instructor. And in that case, the instructor is me. So click Share. And once again, you should have me in your contacts. That's why we did that. Right? You just start typing J-O, and boom, my name pops up. Click on it. Click Share and Save. And I should have a copy of it. Are you going to have to send me an email saying, hey, Mr. Marquez, I shared a document with you? No. You're not going to have to. Are you, when you're done with this, are you going to have to send me an email saying, hey, I'm done? No. Are you going to have to attach this to an email and say, here's my presentation? No, you don't have to do a thing except finish your project and sit back and relax. Okay, it makes your life a whole lot easier. Hopefully, it makes your teacher's life a whole lot easier. And this is the way that things are happening right now in college. Most colleges don't want you to turn papers in anymore. They don't want you to um, email them saying, my stuff's done. You share it with them, you finish it, and after the due date, they go through it. Okay, it makes everybody's life that much easier. A few things I want to show you. This would be your title page. So it's going to tell you, if you look on the assignments, it tells you what to put on each slide. But first, look, how many slides are we going to have? Six, right? So this is how you create a new slide. Plus, just like PowerPoint, plus, 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 
plus, plus. There's our six slides, so we're good to go there. Okay, we're good to go right there. Those are our six slides. And then now here's your instructions. So slide one, you're, in your title, you're going to title it All About Me. Okay, and then put by and then your name. And then you're good to go. Second paragraph, you're going to uh, put in your favorite restaurant. Third, your favorite music group or entertainer. Uh, four, your favorite television show. Five, your favorite outdoor activity. Six, your closing slide, like thank you for watching, or thank you for reading, or thank you for viewing, or thank you for being, thank you, thank you, whatever you want. Um, I would also like you to add pictures to each slide. I don't think I've, I've, I've asked you to do that yet. And how, how would you add a picture? Do you think Google changes everything from docs to presentation? No, it's going to be the exact same way that you added a picture before. Right? If we want to insert a picture, what do you think we click on? Insert. And if we want to insert that image, what do, we, what do you think we're going to put? Image. Okay? And then you can either upload it or you can find it by doing search down here. And if you can't find the one you want from the search, remember, you can always go open a new, uh, open a new nub. And you can always go to google.com and select images and type in whatever you want. And remember, you right-click, copy, go to your slide, right-click, paste, and you can dr drop it, drop it in there. Or you can add pictures from your own computer by going upload. You can do that as well. You can add um, text, like if you want to add another text box, you click that, just drag over. And now you have another text box for yourself. If you don't like the way that's set up, you can do it that way. If you want to add shapes, like an arrow, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do the drawing portion. You just do this, and you can slide it over. You can add those in there as well. Um, at the very end, it says, if you have extra time, create a different background for each slide. Okay, that means it wants something in the background. So basically for that, all you would have to do is this. You would take shape, square, drag it all the way across, and co like color whatever color you want. Let's say green. And then you would make sure that you arrange it. You want to see under order. Send it to the back. So now you can write on top of it. Okay? Send it to the back. What if you send it to the front? It'll block everything. You want to send it to the back. Okay? You can even do that with pictures. If you find an image that you want on the Internet that's not too dark, you can actually take the image, insert it, make it big, click on Arrange, Order, send it to the back. Okay, and it'll send it right to the back. Or if you have, a, you can use shortcuts. These little things, you may not see this, it gives you little shortcuts, so you don't ever have to go to arrange, order. You can just hit control, shift, down, and it'll send it to the back. Or if I want to bring it to the front. So on my computer, if I want to bring the green box to the front, control, shift, up. Now it's to the front. Control, Shift down. Now it's to the back. Those are called shortcuts. And they always give you what the shortcuts look like. So if you can memorize shortcuts, man, it, it cuts your computer time in half. Okay, so go ahead and start working on it. If you have any questions about anything, I'm going to be coming around. If it's something everybody wants to know, I'll show it up there for you. Okay, I'm going to come here and then come around over there. That's because you probably hit title slide and then just hit plus, 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 plus. You'd want to hit title and body slide. Okay, so if you want to delete it, you highlight it, delete, highlight it, delete, 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 delete. Now plus it. There you go. 
What if you guys want to delete a slide? What's probably the easiest way to delete a slide? Highlight it. Delete. Done. It's gone. Okay. Highlight, delete. Highlight, delete. And um, if you want to create a different kind of format, like the format for this is a title and body. It's called a title body slide. But you can always change it. There's a little arrow right here. Title with two columns. Title with two columns. You can create one with title only right there. You can create one that has a caption down here on the bottom. Okay, so you can, it's whatever format that you want. Or you can create a blank one and then just put pictures and use the text box to make things. Okay? Question. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, and, and so you can also right-click, and it gives you a few extra options as well. Okay? Let's double check to make sure they're under pictures. See, there's nothing under pictures. So you have to look around to see where you've put it. Okay? Question. Yeah. Uh -huh. and just you, you're gonna want to change the uh, font or the color to make it. Yeah, make make it be able to see. But you can do that. Yeah. It won't let me um, put in like the restaurant. Okay. It's because it's the uh, the option has been deleted. So just hit back, and now it is. It's right there. Okay. See, it won't let me. Is it working? Can you hear me? Can they hear me in there? Yeah, okay. Nope. Uh -uh. And, and for these, if you don't have to like write out paragraphs or sentences. If you want to do bullets, right, you can do that as well. And remember, bullets, you can add them in the same way. Um, play around with the layouts. And, the, and look, at the very top, layouts, backgrounds. Play around with this stuff. The, be, the best way to learn things is to goof around on them. Make mistakes. Do something. Delete it. Okay? That's the best way to learn things. Just search things. Oh, I wonder what this does. Oh, that's not going to work. Undo. Okay? Just goof around with it. So you go to insert.
Let me show you really quick how to add a background. If all you want is a color, you just click background, blue, done. That's it. Okay? Or background, image, same thing. You can either choose an image. Let's say we want our background image to be... Mm -hmm. It's a big decision. Big decision. There you go. Background. It's in there. Matt Cain's perfect game from about a year and a half ago. Okay? So, and that's your background. And then just double check to make sure it's sent to the back. And it, it's a background, so it is. Okay? But am I going to be able to type using black, uh, black letters? No, you're probably going to want to use something else like red or something so you can actually see through the background. So just keep that in mind. That's the easy way. And then if you don't like it, just hit reset. And it goes back to normal. You can always look at layout. If you don't like the caption, like, ah, oh, I didn't mean to do the caption. I want the, the title and body. Change it. Pretty simple. Theme. If you don't like the simple theme, let's say you want something a little bit different. Scroll down. Let's say you want the Western theme. I don't know why, but you want the Western theme. Now all the slides have a Western theme. And you're like, wait a minute. I only wanted one background to be the Western theme. That's fine. Background. And just change the color. Okay, so a lot of different ways that you can do this. A lot of different ways to make this your own. I mean, if you've ever worked with PowerPoint, I think this is much easier than PowerPoint. It's much simpler because it doesn't have all those extra features that they throw in there that go like, oh, I don't know what all this does. And sometimes when you have so much, so many things, your brain goes crazy and you just shut down like, I don't want to do this. So sometimes simple is better. Simple is better. Mm -hmm. Just make, you, make sure you have him sent to the back. So under under arrange or you can go control shift down at the same time. There you go. Now he's in the back. Oh, now now the background's in the way. Hit down for me. Okay, so let's bring him up one. Let's see. Arrange. Bring forward just one and send this one. Send backward. There you go. Now you can put words over it. Well, yeah, because you're going into it. If you want, you want the background. What What are you trying to do? I want the whole background to be yellow. Okay, so oh. Can you background? Okay. okay, we'll fix it right now. There you
All right, so you guys go ahead and keep working. I want to show you that you shared with me, and now it is up on the screen. I can I can access them at any time, and I can watch you work. Um, but I do want I want you to kind of tell me something you see that is incorrect. So I'm going to scroll down. You tell me when to stop. What's incorrect? Yeah, see someone. Do we have, do we have Alexander in this class? No, nope. okay, it's probably in another class. Alexander created a document all about me. Do you see how the icons are different? Okay, so when you're looking through your folder, you can tell which ones are documents and which ones are presentations. So Alexander it right now is doing an all about me, but in a document. So he's going to need to change that, like start, a whole, start all over is what he's going to have to do. Sorry, Alexander, if you're in another class, I didn't mean to put you on blast. Joe, so, can you hear me? I can. Can, is there a way, I know when school starts, they usually block YouTube, but can we show them how to insert music? Um, I, I think that Connie was able to get us YouTube unblocked. Yeah, I'm not it, sure. No, it is unblocked right now. Oh, yeah, I can, I can show them how to insert a YouTube video. Or, or one of my students was saying if you insert a video and just delete the video, then you have, you know, because there was, I don't know, they figured out a way to insert music without the video. You, you, can, you can insert the video um, and then send the video to the back. That's how you do okay. Behind the background, and then you'll just get the music. So you can do it that way. Will you show us how to do that in a minute? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll, 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 sh I'll show how to do that in about 10 minutes when we Perfect. start work, when we do the 3B. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, you got it. See, where's Emma? Emma, good. But notice, see how your your opening slide is a little bit hard to see. You might want to change it to maybe yellow, yellow or or uh, maybe a bright blue. That'd be pretty good to look over that. Okay, but looks good. Very good job. Uh, Tanner, you can definitely find a picture of Taylor Swift. It's, it's, would you like me to try for you? Okay. Since I'm an editor, I can edit it with you so I can help you out. Okay. So, what, what's that? Oh, you put comment only? Yeah, you should change that because I, I can help you out. Am I all set? Okay. See, that's the benefit of giving your teacher editing power because if you're at home and you want to know how to do it, I can show you on the same page. So, we're, you know, Tanner said he couldn't find a picture of Taylor Swift. So, we're going to do that for him. So, we're going to go to Google Images. We're going to type in Taylor Swift. Okay, which one would you like? That one. So we're going to do our right-click, copy, 
and then back to your back to your document and we're going to go right click paste there she is and then now I'm going to click on your text and delete it okay so there she is and then if you actually go over to file see revision history you can actually see that right there is when I helped him out all the rest I can see everything he did I can go I wonder what he did at 1027 so you click on 1027 that's where he was at back to today at 104 at that that's where we're at so you can always go back and forth in time with this okay good in about six minutes I know you're still working on it. I'm going to show you a few more things we're going to add a um, YouTube video to this now I can't guarantee that at your school site YouTube will be available to you but you can always add these YouTube videos at home and then put them in your presentation and then your teacher has access to YouTube so when they're actually viewing your presentation they will be able to see that YouTube so like let's say under singer you have your favorite singer you can actually put your favorite video from that singer playing on your presentation it plays the video yeah, it'll play the video, which which I find is pretty pretty neat for this. And those of you who are really good at PowerPoint, you're going to notice there's a lot of features that aren't on here. Uh, but every month, Google is adding new things uh, to make the presentation software that much better. Um, for what you are going to need things for, I, this is probably pretty good. There's another presentation option for you um, that I don't think we're going to have time to show you in this laptop camp, but it's a website called Prezi. I will I'll put it on the, um, the uh, laptop camp website with a link to it. Um, it's pretty neat. It's, it, you can zoom in and zoom out and swoosh over as your presentation. Okay, it's kind of like a camera, zooming over, zooming in, zooming out. So it's not a slide presentation. It's a live, fluid presentation. It's pretty neat. You can always check that out on your own as well. And you can sign up for Prezi using your student uh, email. Okay, so uh, no, it's all it's online. It's online. It's a it's a it's a it's webware. Okay. So I don't like calling it an app because that's for like your phone. You have to install the app on your phone, okay? And it's not software because software you have to install on your computer. It's, it's webware. You just go to the website and, and work on it. Joe? Yes. Could you repeat the name of that? Is it Prezi? Prezi, P-R-E-Z-I. Thank you. So you guys don't don't worry about you know typing in Prezi and all that stuff. I will I will put a link on Laptop Camp Day Number Three that the what, uh, when you guys leave I'll put a little link to Prezi that you can go check it out. In fact, I will put a whole bunch of links for a whole bunch of different fun little sites you can go to and check out on your own. They're pretty neat. Poplet. That's pretty fun. Prezi, that's pretty fun. Game Star Mechanic, you make your own video games. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'll put all those on there for you. You can play around with.
So I'm going to go, I'm going to use Tanner's uh, project as an example. And so let's say Tanner likes Taylor Swift, and he has a picture of her up there, but he also wants to play his favorite Taylor Swift music video, which is, can you what? Yeah, so I'm going to show them how to do it. Um, but but you, you tell me, tell me what your favorite, nope, oh, I hit the wrong button. Tell me what your favorite Taylor Swift music video is or song. No, just 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 one song, not 22 of them. No, I'm 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 just joking. I'm not that old. I know what I know Taylor Swift songs. Okay, so um, we're on YouTube, and I'm gonna type in Taylor Swift 22. Now, I do want you to be aware it's YouTube, and sometimes there's bad things on YouTube. Okay, and then so. Um, when you go to school, they do make you sign a contract with your computer that if you come across something, you don't get in trouble, but you have to exit out of it immediately and let your teacher know so that she can tell the kids not to go there. Okay? But you two, they've been pretty good, so we're going to go and do Taylor Swift 22 and yeah. Let's try this. Okay, so that's, that's, is that it? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So we have the video that we want. What we're going to do is we are going to scroll down to the share button, right here, share, and we're going to copy that URL. And it's already highlighted for you, so you're just going to right click and then hit copy. Okay? And now all you're going to do is go back to your project. Now you want to make sure you're not highlighting anything, right? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. It needs to be not highlighted. Nothing's highlighted. Then you go to insert. Maybe it does have to be highlighted. Let's try that. Insert. Wait, oh, I'm, am I still under revision? Is that why? There we go. Oh, who did that? All right. Hold on. Too many, too many letters on one slide. Okay, so while, while, and, and he could, he could be fixing it while I'm inserting the videos, which is fine. So he's over there. I'm going to hit insert, video, YouTube. And all I do is hit right click, paste. Okay. Oh, sorry. You want to do the URL one. My bad. I apologize. Right click. Paste. And there it is. Hit select. Right there. And now watch. We are going to present and it plays it right in your presentation. I uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, and so it's pretty neat, pretty easy. You can make it bigger if you want. Okay, exit. You know that might be a feature. It might you might I, like under the option. Uh, let's see if it's under options, tools, option. You might have it where you it says uh, end on slide change, and there might be an option to say play till the end. Um, I I don't I haven't played around with that, but 
but you, that's how you add the YouTube videos. Okay. Now remember, because I forgot, so you might forget. When you go to, oh, let me get out of his thing because he's goofing around. Okay. When you insert the video, video, you want to go by URL. Okay. You can always search, but I'll tell you that Google is so afraid of copyright infringement. That means taking someone else's work and letting other people use it for free. They're, they're afraid of that, that a lot of things that, that you'll find on actual YouTube have been not available on the Google search of YouTube. So if I type in Taylor Swift, right there, no, no, nothing found. That doesn't mean there's no Taylor Swift out there. This means that Google is blocking that stuff because they don't want Taylor Swift to be like, you know, what's up, man? What's up, Google? Stop, stop, stop Googling my videos, right? So you have to do the URL, okay? So you have to actually go to YouTube. You have to hit that share button, find that little URL, which is the shortcut, and then post it right there, and it'll show up. And you can always double check to make sure that's the right one just by hitting play. And that's it. Okay, select. And then now it's there. And just to remind you that this is a video and not a picture, because sometimes, I mean, when you're, you know, you're working like, oh, picture. No, it's a video. Okay, they, they gave you that. Now, once again, somebody asked if you can um, make it play all the way through. You're going to have to go through and look at the options um, with, with all these things, like slide transition. And, oh, speaking of which, you're going to want to, do slide transitions. What that means is normally if if I play this, present, and I hit next, it just goes next, next, pretty boring, next, next, video, next, right? But with slide transitions, I can actually have this video Okay, you can change the transition. Right here. Transition, you want it to flip. So it's going to come in like this. So it'll flip in instead of just appearing. Or you can have it do other things. So, you know, play around with like... Um, cube. See what it looks like. Comes in as a cube. So different transitions. You'd have to do that for each slide. Um, or you can have it apply to all slides. If you click on all slides, then you will see that on every slide that you have. And I'm looking right now to see if you can change the ob the objects stuff, but yeah. See, uh, we're gonna leave in five minutes, so you can actually. Do the same thing with your uh, words as well. So like if you type something in, let's say we're here, and you say, you know, this is what you wrote, and this is what you wrote. Then under your, an this is your animation pane, and to get to your animation pane, you just click on View Animations, and then that's how you get your animation pane. You can click on this object, add an animation to that object, and let's say you want it to fly in. 
Okay, and you want it to fly in. See, now this, with previous or after previous. So basically it means the thing you did before, do you want it to happen right after it or with it? I want it to happen after. And then same thing with this one. I want this one to uh, zoom in. And I want that to happen after previous. So if I watch this, it flies in and zooms in. So now you can have your words coming in and out as well. So just play around with that. We, we do only have like five more minutes of class today. Um, I do want you to go home and goof around with this. And I do want you to look at assignment 3B. It doesn't want you to make a whole new assignment. It wants you to take the thing you've already done and add animations to it, add pictures to it, make the pictures fly in and out. So they're not static. Try to get an animation on all the little things that you put in there. And the best presentation tomorrow gets a prize. Okay? So the best presentation tomorrow will get a prize. And it's, we'll vote on it using a form. That I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can show you how to make that tomorrow. Okay? So go ahead and keep working on it for five more minutes. Any questions, please raise your hand and I will come by. Hey guys, if you have not gone here after school, I mean after camp when you're going home, if you're on the page up here are the links for all the different videos and stuff that he's done. So he hasn't posted day three yet because he hasn't gotten done with it yet. But that's where you're finding those things. Yes, go in and do the student attendance for us. Then don't worry. Yeah, just so that we know you're here.